Greetings, seekers of wisdom. Let me toss a question at you that needs your full attention. What if Stoicism, the philosophy you've turned to for life guidance, is misunderstood by the very society that claims to follow its ideas? Let's chew on that for a bit. Stoicism, an ancient wellspring of wisdom born in the heart of Athens, has found its way into the busy fabric of our modern world. Blogs, posts, and social media feeds are filled with its teachings, or so they claim. But heed the words of Seneca, time discovers truth. Ask yourself, does this modern take dig deep into the ancient roots or merely skip across the surface like a stone on water? The words of Emperor Marcus Aurelius have stood the test of time. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Yet, my friends, consider the irony. A philosophy urging us to be virtuous is often reduced to hashtags and short quotes, lacking context and depth. Now, we need to talk about the essence of Stoicism that many overlook. Many say it's about eliminating emotion, becoming a fortress of solitude, like some emotional rock. But in the words of Epictetus, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we react to them. Stoicism isn't a shield against life's ups and downs. It's a tool for fine-tuning your character. It's not an escape from the world, but a lens to see it more clearly. The sad truth is this. Stoicism has become a commodity, stripped of its depth, and repackaged for easy consumption. Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence on the future. So how can we enjoy the present when Stoicism itself is sold as a product? The answer is within you, as Marcus Aurelius wisely puts it. Look within. Within is the fountain of good, and it will always bubble up if you dig deep. This is your wake-up call, my friends. Don't just skim the surface. Dive into the writings of Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. In doing so, you commit not just to a philosophy, but to a lifelong quest for self-mastery and wisdom. To wrap it up, I invite you to something bigger. Stoicism isn't a trend. It's a lifelong journey toward wisdom and virtue. If these words resonate with you, join us further on this quest. Let's make this more than a fleeting interest. Let's make it a shared journey toward wisdom. Farewell.